Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to make a quick video on some of the improvements, updates, repairs, modifications that I've done on the Hildebeest based off of a lot of the comments that I received from you guys on potential issues and what might be going on. So I just really quickly want to go over what it is that I have done here to try and isolate the issues and some changes, improvements, and modifications, and repairs that I have done to the Hildebeest in preparation for the next 8S flight and possibly 12S if I replace these F1000 motors with the T10 Pros 330 kVs, then I'll absolutely bump this thing up to 12S. Currently on the F1000 545s 12S is not possible as it would simply be too much for these APD 120s uh, and the PDB 500. It just, it would be too much. It would pull too many amps and it wouldn't be possible. So that said, real quick, this is based off of a lot of the research that I've done, but also the comments that you guys have left me. So I wanna say thank you very much for leaving all the comments and having the back and forth discussions with me on this. It really has led me to where we are right now with this in preparation for getting it ready to fly again on 8S and hopefully just be ridiculous. Let's take a look. So starting off, I've removed all of the heat shrink from the ESCs, leaving them open. Now I may or may not, I haven't yet decided, put some silicone conformal coating on this to kind of waterproof them, I don't know. The other option is simply don't fly it where there's damp grass. Um, so I'm still in the air about that. I've also replaced all four of the capacitors on the ESCs and I've taken a tiny bit of goop and just kind of smashed it down below on each one of them and smoothed it out. What I'm hoping that the goop will do once it dries is act as a vibration dampener. So if there are any vibrations that make it through, the capacitor wouldn't actually move too much because the goop would uh, absorb those vibrations. Before applying the goop, I removed the signal and ground wire from each one of the ESCs and replaced those with a twisted pair signal and ground wire running back to the PDB, as you can see here. Hopefully that will help with the signal and prevent any ripples. In addition to that, I've added a small layer of insulation between the battery leads and everything that is coming back to the left rear ESC. So now I will show you guys what I've done in Betaflight and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the Betaflight settings for the Hildebeest. Again, I've used some of the input that I've received from you guys as well as some research that I've done to make some of these changes and get them to where they are now. I'm not gonna go through every single tab here, though I would be happy to if you guys feel the need to see it all. I'm just gonna jump straight to some of the ones that I feel are important. So starting off with the configuration tab, I used to have the motor idle throttle value percent set to seven. So now with the default idle set to 10, the way I got there was using this simple formula right here of going into the motors tab in Betaflight, plugging in the battery, removing the propellers, not in that order, ticking the box to accept the responsibility and then start to move the slider up until the motors move. So I got the motors to move right at about 1068. So we'll just call it 1070 for good measure. So add the 30 to that. So that brings me to 1100. Do the rest of the math here, subtract 1000, then divide by 10 and that leaves us with 10. So the default idle percent is now set to 10. 8K, 8K, nothing special here, crossfire. We've got pretty much everything disabled that we can have disabled. Power and battery, because we're using the APDs, we're using the ESC telemetry. PID tuning, I may change these a little bit once I get this thing flying properly, but I do kind of like these, these really soft uh, characteristics right now. For the filters, I've got them 68, 68, 68 quads. And the way that I came to these numbers was using the values that are set forth in the APD manual, doing some simple math for the size of the frame, the components that I have, and these are the numbers that I came out to. We will go down now just to the CLI. This is what I've got it set to right now, guys. I believe that these settings are good for this setup and motors. However, guys, I would definitely be interested in hearing otherwise. If you think that they should be changed, please leave a comment down below and tell me why. 
uh, and tell me what you think that they should be changed to. I'm definitely willing to uh, entertain uh, different configurations, providing I can understand why it is that they should be a particular way. So this is a really quick video, guys, but I did want to show you that I am taking the feedback that you have left down in the comments and implementing it into this build. The ultimate end goal is to be able to fly the Hilda Beast as fast and aggressive as possible without turning this thing into a huge fireball. So thank you all very, very much for all of the comments that you've left so far and all of the help that you've given to get it this far. Definitely looking forward to getting it back out onto the field, opening this thing up and seeing where we can take it and possibly even changing out the motors from the F1000s over to the Brother Hobby T10 Pros running at 330 kV, which would then enable me to jump this thing up to 12S. So if we can get this running successfully at 8S, I may very well make that jump over to 12S with this. If not, then you'll just have to wait because I have the Cannonball 800 frame on the way and I've got the X Nova X-Class 350 kV motors already on hand, just waiting for the frame and the new set of APD electronics and then I will start that build and there will be a build video there as well. So thank you guys for watching and all the feedback you've given. Stay tuned, there's definitely gonna be a lot more videos coming in the Hildebeest series. Hopefully there won't be too much more repairing going on, but uh, just fun exploring what we can get out of this and how hard we can push it. Be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you will be notified for the future Hildebeest videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.